Operation Snowflake, TMI, and Eloquent Amy. Hey everybody, I'm Tony Masillis, and this is irregularly scheduled programming. Well, the former Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld called his memos snowflakes. Isn't that cute? Well, he's probably wishing one flake from 2004 would have melted. Rumsfeld wrote, too often Muslims are against physical labor, so they bring in Koreans and Pakistanis while their own young people remain unemployed. Well, first, somebody's got to inform him that 96% of Pakistanis are Muslim. Well, for something called a snowflake, Press Secretary Dana Perino dropped it like it's hot. It's not in line with the president's views, and, and obviously we um, have been working very hard throughout the uh, Middle East and actually throughout the world in order to help spread the word of what America stands for. Now the Arab Americans are upset, Muslim leaders are upset, the White House is out there apologizing like he's the crazy uncle making racist jokes at Thanksgiving dinner. And I can see why they'd be surprised. I mean, Donald Rumsfeld has always been so eloquent and reasoned. There are known knowns. There are things we know that we know. There are known unknowns. That is to say, there are things that we now know we don't know. But there are also unknown unknowns. There are things we do not know we don't know. Ohio Democrat Dennis I Saw a UFO Kucinich was on the early show this morning with his much younger wife, Elizabeth. Hannah Storm wasted no time getting to the serious questions. I know that your husband doesn't want to focus on your tongue ring, but you do have one, correct? I do. And would you remove it if you became first lady or leave it in? It's, it's part of me now. It's been there 10 years, so... <laughs> Can we see it? No, you can't. Sorry. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my privilege. <laughs> <laughs> and he wants to be president. Greedy, greedy. And the winner? Amy Winehouse. Rehab rocker Amy Winehouse won the coveted Artist Choice Award at MTV's European Awards last night in Germany, and it apparently left her speechless. Friends. Did she really Paul from The Wonder Years, or am I thinking about Marilyn Manson? Well, that's all for today. There are lots of links at our blog, cbsnews.com slash ISP. Have a great weekend. I mean, here's a woman of great accomplishment with a master's degree in international conflict resolution, and I hope that you're going to talk about more than a tongue stud. <laughs> <laughs>